Happy January! Yes, we are now in 2021. It's going to take me a little while to make that all work. Your brain takes a little while for it to make it happen. I know. But we can always have a beautiful time together as we do chair Tai Chi. Sit tall, feet are shoulder width apart, hands are on your knees. Just close your eyes and just let your spirit relax with a deep breath in and exhale through your mouth, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Allow your chin to drop to your chest. Slowly rise, look up to the sky. Chin to chest, as your chin comes down, round that spine just a little bit. Sit tall, lift that tailbone, shoulders back, head is up. Reverse that process one more time. and release elbows turn out hands point together lift up exhale down let all that tension go up close your eyes if you choose Open your eyes, allow one arm to come forward and open it to the side. Follow your head with that hand, draw it back and return to the starting position. Other hand comes forward. No rush, take your time. Last one. and release. Extend one leg forward, point that toe, and flex, bring it back. Same thing, reach with the other leg, and point, and flex, draw it back. Continue flexing, extend, release, and back. Sit tall, engage that core as you use your foot, open and close. You're still working that upper body with a strong stature. One more each side. and release. 
One arm comes up to the sky. Look up. Reach up high and let it fall to the side. Circling around. Up. Open and circle. Thumb comes up. Open. So right here, your palm faces the camera. Kind of like you're doing a chop to the back. Last one. And back to center, changing sides, lift it up and open. Up, up, up. Palm faces toward me and circles around. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fantastic. Looking forward to what 2021 has to offer me. I will offer it my very best. And release. Same thing, but add that leg. Hold it there as you circle that arm. And it comes back. Change sides. Extend. Open. Reach through that entire range of motion. So there's not really a stopping point in this program. You just flow to the next move. One more each side. bringing it back to center hands go on the top of your knees allow that spine to open as your chin comes to your chest now leaning forward like you're ducking under something and you come back so round it chin to chest come forward duck under and up well done again Round. My lower back really says thank you on this one. I can even feel it actually in through my sciatica. Up and back. Two more. Now your range of motion doesn't have to be that deep. It could be a lot more narrow. But if you choose, it's up to you. Big breath, exhale. One hand comes up, followed with the leg, and bring it back down. A lot of activity outside my studio this morning. Change sets. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of fun things going on. They're really loud. When things interrupt my class, it just reminds me that life has interruptions and to not sweat the small stuff. Just keep plowing through. Last one each side.
hands around the top of your thighs and a small body circle. Make it a little bit bigger, not too big. And come back to center. Slowly start the other direction in a very small circle. And each circle gets a little bigger each time. Sometimes I close my eyes on this and just float off in my thoughts. Last one. Completing that cycle. Now I'm going to scoot to the edge of my chair. We're going to step out with one of your legs. So stepping to the side and a heel toe. Then add the arm and draw them back together, staying on that same side. So open that knee, heel toe, add that arm. Open, heel toe. Breathing, extending that full range of motion. We'll change sides after this one. Oh my goodness, all that crazy stuff going on in the background. Changing sides. Lift, heel toe, and lean. done. Reaching forward, drawing that opposite hand back into your ribs, and change. I always feel like I'm slow motion running, but it's an excellent way to make that spine more supple. Light lean forward. Drawing it back to center. One arm drops down. Let your ear fall to the opposite direction. Reaching down with your fingertips to open up that neck and trap area. Coming back to neutral. Palm comes up. Reach it up. Draw it close to your side and extend it down. Lean over. Head comes back to center, drawing it up. Change sides. Drop that ear to one side. Your opposite hand goes down. Up.
big breath as you extend up. And release. One hand is over and one is under. Sit tall. Bring those arms up to your chin and push it back down. Again, no rotation at first. those hands. Same movement. It's just the different hands on top. I feel like a string is pulling your spine straight up. Very beautiful tall posture. Last one. Now rotate those hands and bring it up. Rotate as you go down and then draw it back up so the movement never stops. I can feel that in my shoulders. I bet you can. You're just getting a lot stronger. Just simple fluid movement. Bring it back to center. Hands go on your knees. Reach out to a corner. Open your fingers. Grab the air and draw it in. Same hand. Reach out. Grab. Use those fingers. Over exaggerate. Pushing. And grabbing. Look up to the sky. Now change sides. Hand places on your thigh. Push open with that hand. Rotate as you come back. Now changing sides, you're going to add that kick forward. Reach forward and everything comes back together at the same time. Again, reach and kick. Hold in that core. Change sides, so it's opposite hand, opposite leg. Now if you don't want to extend it as high, totally fine, just keep it down low. Or even, you can just place your heel forward, if that's more comfortable. But if you want, it's full extension. Last time. And back to center. Dropping one arm to the side, small circles. Mm. 
make them smaller and smaller and then extend it bigger and bigger and then make it smaller and smaller like you're stirring the water and release big breath exhale other side small circles and bigger and bigger and then bring it back to small so I'm circling away from my body and release allow both hands to come into prayer bring it up open your hands as you get to the top and exhale down bringing your hands forward and then into prayer up center opening your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart hands come into prayer allow your hands to drop between your knees and bring it up bring it back to prayer up and into the center round your back if you choose and up Holding it down, you're going to release one arm open, pushing against that inner thigh, back to center. Change sides, push that arm very gently across the inside of that knee. bringing it back to center pull your feet a little bit closer together hands are in prayer sit super tall hands come forward open your fingers let your hands fall toward your knees as they come in the backs of your hands come together and it twists through bringing it back to prayer up extend it out As you come back, twist around, back to prayer. Place your hands on your knees. Allow your head to just make a tiny, tiny circle. And reverse that circle. the tension of the day is gone relaxing through each movement and release hands come up making a circle with your arms open big breath exhale down continue
as you come in, one arm is going to go up, the other goes down. Look up. And together. Now open. The other arm goes up this time. And open. Lift to opposite arm. Open. Lift. One more time, each side. Bring it all the way down, hands on your knees. Go back to that circle. We're gonna do some balance as we move through it. Big as you're comfortable with. Now lift that leg. Bring it back down as you complete that circle. Thanks for being here. I know sometimes you may not feel like coming to exercise class, but your body will thank you later in the day. And especially later this month, you'll start to see some results. I know my happy factor goes off the charts after I work out. Completing this last one. and back to center. Reverse that circle. Starting slowly and incrementally opening that circle bigger and bigger. When you're ready, you can add that lift of the opposite leg you did before and lift. You can feel your core getting stronger too because as you have to balance, try not to push with your hands. And finishing up. Excellent. One hand comes up, the other one is under. Sit tall. As you rotate, you're going to switch as you go to the other side. Feel that spine opening up. Take your time, don't rush. If you want to, you can add that leg, the direction you're going. Extend it, change, add that leg. How you doing? Last one. And back to center. 
both palms come up, look up, come into prayer, hold it here, hands are in heart center, and you just rotate to one side, keeping your thumbs right there on your sternum. Change sides, take your time. As you turn, don't let your knees collapse. Keep them strong. Because sometimes we have a tendency to let our legs follow the upper body twist. In this position, you don't want to. Bring your hands down. Sit back comfortably in your chair. And maybe just close your eyes for a second. Let all the tension of the day go. Big breath, exhale. Feel all the blood rushing through your body. And exhale. Sit tall. Open your eyes. And we are done. That's the big surprise. We have done a fantastic workout together. It's an honor to be your coach. My name is Coach Dina McDee and we will be together again very soon, I'm sure. Until then, bye for now.